Here we go. Jürgen, you couldn't have wished for a much better start than that first 20 odd minutes. Yeah, true. Um, I think we all, you especially, know how, how intense the start of Newcastle is, how they want to start a game, especially at home. Um, so we have to be ready for that. It was a bit wild, stuff like this. In the moment when we controlled it, we scored incredible goals, um, top goals. And then the quick restart for the possible third goal. Um, Pope, I didn't see it, but ball is on his hand, whatever. I, I saw it, but somebody was in between, so in the end. Um, we got a red card. I would have preferred definitely um, a goal because I think that was possible. If Mo gets on the ball, it's pretty likely that we will score there. And playing against 11 because it was as well the moment where we lost a bit of rhythm. Um, because of the amount of set pieces um, we gave away, and that was always a threat, and there's no advantage. Um, 11 will be 10 when there's a ball. Um, on the on the corner flag or wherever, there's no no advantage. So that was there were too many, um, but we had our moments. We could have scored a third and fourth one. We didn't. Um, I think once unlucky. Once I still don't understand it. That square ball for Mo and he goes down. I didn't see it back in that moment. It looked for me like a penalty, but I, I don't know. Um, so now we didn't score. And that keeps the game exciting and um, Newcastle, all credit to them, they put a proper shift in, they really wanted to go for it, they, they fought really hard, so that was why it was exciting until the end, but um, we got the three points and we are very happy about that. Both goals came in similar fashion, was that something you'd worked on? In yes, yeah, since months unfortunately. <laughs> No, it, look, it helps the boys. I don't know exactly how often they played now together in that in that formation, um, and that's very important. You can train, but then you need the games and stuff like this. We, you, you have to work on details, and um, I loved the goals, the, the way we, we moved there, the, the not offside, so patient enough, the vision from the passes, really, well, Trent top pass, super control Darwin, super goal. Um, then the second goal, real good link up play, and then with the chip from Mo for Cody. Uh, top goals, honestly. Um, yeah, that's how it is. Goals when you can play a little bit more together. But that's now uh, again the, as well the bad news. So Darwin has something on on his shoulder. Um, we will see in that situation where I don't know what he whistled there. To be honest, um, against him, um, but in the end he had to go off with a with a shoulder issue. We have we need further assessment. So I don't know in the moment. In the moment it's painful. Hopefully it's just painful and not more. Um, how, how big a win is that for your season? Massive, 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 massive. Um, so we are not in a position, I don't think we are in a position now where we can um, um, have a big mouth and say, so now we are we, we, we are here and then go again. We, we, there's, it's obvious that we are in a better place than we were a couple of weeks ago, but we are still um, space for improvement and we have to show consistency. So next game Real Madrid, different competition, nothing to do with the game today. We have to recover and then go for that. And um, after that it's Crystal Palace. So and I heard now, I said a couple of times they won, but I heard that they drew because I didn't see that result anymore. Late equalised from Brentford. But Palace is a tough place to go as well, so we have to keep going. So when you are in a position we are in, um, there's no alternative to consistency to get out of it and result-wise that was definitely um, good for consistency and um, performance-wise uh, were a lot of good stuff and areas where we can improve. The, the, the fallout for Nick Cole's red card might be that Morris makes a team has a debut in the cup final next week. Can you offer a reference point for his mentality and character ahead of the game? Yeah, I heard about that. So um, I, I think if you, you can absolutely rely on him, there's no, no doubt about that. He's a great goalie. That's why, why Newcastle signed him. Um, but of course, for unlucky for, for Nick Pope in that moment, um, really unlucky. And then uh, why can Tuprov not play? Oh, okay. So um, yeah, but yeah, that's it. Mark and James. I was just going to say a question about Carrier. So. Absolutely. And that, that's that's what he was working for definitely all the time. So absolutely. James? Yeah, just this week the back to back wins, back to back clean sheets. How important is that going into the Real Madrid game, do you think, in terms of belief it's given you some momentum? 
Yeah, massive. Um, I always said, um, I heard, I didn't know it, but I heard now the last clean sheet away from home was in April here. I can't believe that, but uh, we have February. It's insane. Wow. Um, yeah, it's massive. But th that explains a little bit the issues we had um, in the game then, that we couldn't control it better. So just because it's so long ago that we were in a situation of busy like that, and um, it's unfortunate football is not like cycling, that you um, if you know it once, you will do it always exactly on the same level. No, it's like um, it's different. And um, so the only way how you can do it and get back on, 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 on this track is um, by winning. And we did that now twice in a row, and that's feel, that feels absolutely incredible. So good. And just in terms of Alison tonight, that was a tremendous performance for him in terms of making big contributions at key, key times in the game. Yeah, top. I am not really discussing Ali's quality, I saw he's, he's the goal he is and we, we, we love having him. Um, yeah, very helpful performance today, absolutely. Thank you everyone. Thank you, bye-bye.